Okay, once you unbox your complete weather station, this is what it should look like. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is loosen up the Allen screws in the base. Uh, loosen up these brackets so it'll make it easier for us to set the mast in it. And then you're gonna wanna remove the screws uh, in the, ma the base of the mast and set those aside. And you should be able to, one person should be able to pick this up. Make sure you locate the hole in the base. That will be the front. Uh, match it to the hole uh, where the cable exits the mast. Set that down in there. And uh, replace the screws. You may have to jostle all around a little bit to make everything line up. Get you, uh, Allen wrench, tighten those down, and replace all the screws, do the same, tighten down in the base and on the mast. And then you should be able to uh, lay the, the whole mast base down on its side. That will be, make it easier for, for us to attach the junction box, remove the screws, set those aside and you will take the connector. There's a little tab inside here, but it only fits in there one way, of course. You need to line up the tab and then press in there firmly and it will rotate uh, 90 degrees and you'll feel a detent snap in there. Push the cable back in the mast. Um, make sure uh, that your gland nuts in the base uh, where you're gonna run your wire in there. Replace the screws. Now you're going to uh, place a object. I've got a little foam block here uh, to level the mast out. Um, that'll give us some more room when we uh, place uh, this piece across the top. You need to remove the screws. loosen the, the screws on the angle on the cross arm and do the same for this connector it just go, fits one way press it firmly in and sometimes you have to you know, feel for this and you will feel it and you'll see it when it engages and rotate until the detent hits push your excess cable back in the mast Line up the holes and replace the screws and tighten those down. Now we're going to go to uh, the temperature humidity sensor, re re remove the screws off the mask, make your connection. Same thing on that, you have a tab, it just goes in one way, press it in and rotate it tighten it down it uh, spins on replace your allen screws tighten those down so this is a little different um, I'm just showing a close-up now but it's not just a quarter turn it actually is threaded so you'll have to you press push in rotate it push in rotate it Now we're going to uh, <clears throat> place the, the V bracket on one end of the cross arm, rotate it 90 degrees, uh, remove the two screws off the end there, and you'll take your V bracket. It'll go in either direction. Um, and replace the screws, tighten those down. Now you need to put together your uh, wind direction sensor. Just remove the help said screw and place it in the tail section and replace the screw. And snug it up. 
That's the orientation of that. And you'll take the screw of the base of that and replace it uh, once you line it up on the, the bracket. And these connectors work the same. We'll have the tab. Set those in there, press them, rotate, press, rotate. Just they're clearly marked wind direction and wind speed. This is your wind speed. Remove the screw from the base, replace it, run through the bracket, tighten it down. Uh, then if you have the solar radiation sensor, you're going to remove the three screws in the center of the cross arm and put your solar sensor bracket and tighten those down and make the connection. It's clearly marked. Take your assembly and you're going to rotate it 90 degrees or 180 I'm sorry place it back down you need to support it give it a little space there so your wind speed and direction don't hit and we're going to uh, install the barometric pressure sensor on the side here remove the four allen screws and it through the uh, the bracket here tighten them down make your connection and connect your sensor and last but not least uh, you're going to install the rain gauge there's six holes but three are you have a smaller radius here these three right here are the ones you're going to use for the 525 uh, you take a washer and the screw, go through the foot, then place your spring between the leg and the base, hand tight, and do this for all three. It would be easier if uh, you have a second person to hold this, but I can do it um, by myself with a little I've done it a time or two. So. And these you will just snug down and um, you don't over tighten it. The spring will hold tension on it and you'll use the green bubble level inside once you've uh, installed the mass base. You'll, you'll need to make sure that uh, you use these leveling springs to make sure that, that the bubble level is level. And now we will place our lightning rod in the bracket. Snug that down a little with a wrench. And we will go in the junction box now. And you'll see a terminal strip that clearly marks uh, where all your sensors are located. And there's a gland nut at the base of this where you can bring your cable up through the base. Nut first. rubber gasket in here that you need to feed those wires through. Should have cut the little pigtails off that I'm not using to make it a little easier. And give yourself a little excess. And there's your uh, 10 to 33 volt DC in. You need to, for power and common. And here's all your uh, outputs. So you wire up uh, we're going to wire up our uh, wind speed here first. So I'll tend the end of this. Um, you can put a spade on there, it would be even better. But just for demonstration, to show you where these go. And that does it. Thank you for watching.